Okay, let's see. It's almost time for our class to start. Let's give them a second to the students. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Hello, my dear. How are you? I'm fine. And you? Here, you know, same old story. Yeah, I know. Well, maybe two weeks, two weeks more. Two or three. Two more? Three, three two more weeks. Week. Three. Well, oh. actually, well, 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 let's see, let's see. The problem is this. I just got, uh, let me see, how many days? Uh, right now, I just got four days because was four days. On, on yeah, it was on, on Monday. Monday. Yeah. Yeah, they, they got me the, the cast on Monday. So that means that, oh, I'm starting. <laughs> yes. The only the problem is, the problem is that at this time of the day, uh, as I've been moving around, they get swollen. Ah, really? And no, yeah. or no more? And no, yeah, no. still no. Okay. okay. So that's uh, pretty uncomfortable. That's why I have it like this. So uh, the glue can come down. Like like the first day? Yeah. Again? Okay. Yeah, yeah. That yeah you, need, you need to rest. Yeah, but you know, uh, for me, that's hard. That's the problem. <laughs> yes, I, I, I understand. And do you drive for this time? Well, I've been driving. Yesterday, I had to drive a lot because yesterday I went downtown San Salvador. I went by, uh, well, by Garcia Flamenco first. And then I went to, uh, how do you call it? And you find and I went to Escalon, yeah, but I was driving automatic because I cannot drive stick. Mm, I, I, I don't understand what the swing I I stick uh, a standard. Ah, you say yesterday, I don't remember now. Yeah, yeah. yeah the problem yeah, is that yeah, because my... with with the with your with As... your wrist. In this condition, you can use a yeah. car stick. 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 Let me take it for you. Let me take stick. 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 Or mechanic. Okay. okay. I think I'm not for. Don't forget again. Stick. 
Yeah, that's the problem mostly. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay. I send, I send you a result for the test. Four yep. was easy, but the number three was very hard for me. I, I can I couldn't, I can, I couldn't uh, find, finish all the tests. Don't worry. Uh, the goal wasn't for you to finish them like perfect. The goal was to see how far could you go, okay? okay. Because it's it worked for me like as a diagnostic. In that way, I can see what kind of, uh, of exercise you can do, but we can talk about that later, okay? okay. Don't worry. Okay. Let's see, oh my gosh, let's see, everybody's connecting. Well, and tell me, Janira, how was your day? Was fine, really fine. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. What did you do today? Yeah, I, I, I made some cases and yeah. I really happy because tomorrow I signed a, a contract. Oh, really? I a saw contract. Yeah, because I saw my old house. Oh, really? Yeah, and tomorrow I signed the, how do you say, compra venta? The selling. The selling. And at the evening, I'll... In the evening? In the evening, I'll go. I'll go to the party. My cousin um, celebrate your fitting. No, no, years? my hair. Hair, I'm oh, sorry. Yes, yes. yes. Hair yeah. fitting years, not mine. <laughs> yeah. I won. Yeah, because you, I won. <laughs> no, no, you told me your. Yeah. Your. Yeah, I, I mistake. Yeah. <laughs> I my have, two. My neither. My neither. Yeah, remember, tampoco, tampoco, that's neither. Yes, I, I know. I, for, I forgot forget, some, forget, no, forget, forget some. Yeah, more. that happens, that happens. Uh, actually, you know, I have never celebrated a birthday. Really? Why not? Oh, because some of my family's uh, religion. Uh, what religion uh, are you? Well, I am nothing. <laughs> I, I am pagan, you know, I am pagan. But uh, my, my family, they are Jehovah's Witnesses. They? Jehovah's Witnesses. What is this? I don't know. Diego? They? Ah, okay. Can you repeat, please? Jehovah. Jehovah? Witnesses. Witnesses. Ah, okay. Jehovah Witnesses. I'm Witnesses. Catholic. Witnesses. Cat I am Catholic. Catholic. I am. Cat Cat no, no, no. Like I'm a C. Catholic. Catholic. Como Zeta. Catholic. Catholic. Yes, like that. Okay. Catholic. Catholic. Oh, Jehovah so, Witnesses. Okay. Yeah, Witnesses. Okay, so you are looking forward for tomorrow. You are signing the contract. You are getting money. Yes. Mm. <laughs> That's cool. But I save. But I save. But I save. No, <laughs> no problem. No problem. You know, everybody here in the group is. I mean, they are satisfied with a little party. You know. <laughs> you know, yeah, we are not yeah, like. Right. <laughs> we don't need something very. We don't ah, need anything like very exotic. I, I, I forget. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I forget and save all money. Ah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Ah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. You put it all onto the account. Yes. Maybe I made a pay for my new house and another money. I say I save it. Okay. Now you will make a down, down payment. Let's see, down pay, mm -hmm. hold on, payment, down payment, oops, I'm sorry, 
It's M with the, with the space. Payment. Okay. Payment. Down well, payment means uh, prima. Okay. Uh, not really prima, but. Oh, or como un adelanto, un yes. De. yes. Okay, that's yes. a down payment. Okay. 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 Oh, that's interesting. That's very interesting. Yeah, I'm really happy. Yeah, I can imagine. I can imagine. Let's see. Wow, I remember first house I got. Oh, I was I was a kid. I was 24. With the first house I got into, and then we got this one like five, six years ago. Oh, somewhere around. A lot, a lot of years ago. Yeah, we got this one like six years ago. No, five years ago. Yeah, five years ago. That's when we moved to this house and and it's bigger and we are more comfortable but you know when you get a house you you always keep on spending on the house yes because I, you pick something or you add a little something or you change yeah. something so it's always there's always something to do in the house mm. yeah when you move is is um it's hard because you move something and i hate that <laughs> i move I... in in january 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 yeah i hate moving particularly because last time my father helped me and he wanted to move everything fast <laughs> in what? one time take yeah, a, a was... lot and move it was terrible. I mean, I didn't know you could move that fast. Yo no sabía que no podía mover tan rápido. It was you terrible. Have a, how do you say disorder? A disorder? Yeah, a mess. A mess. Well, not really. Not really. There was not a big mess because in his case, he wanted to have everything in order from the very beginning. Ah, okay. So he placed everything where it was supposed to be. Okay. That you have a lot, a lot of boxes and, and bags with all organized. Yeah, everything was organized. So it didn't take too long. Like in two days, everything was set. So it was very fast, actually. Uh, this for me was very terrible because in my in my old house, oh, a lot of things. And ah, when you live with uh, with more people, it's, it's complex. Yeah, it's complex. It's complex. Yeah, but I mean, to move out, it's hard. To move in, it's also hard. You know, but it's always good. I mean, it's a new start. It's always a new start. Yes, and, of course. And that's something well, you to finish, look forward it's, to. It's very good. Yeah, yeah, it is. And now with houses, you never finish. You are always doing something. <laughs> nice talking to you, Janita. Thank, Thank you, you and welcome. Teacher. Hey, Roxana, how are you? Roxana, I remember she moved from the first floor to the second floor, right? Yeah, no. I was sleeping. <laughs> huh. uh, okay, I, okay. Explain to me. I was sleeping, and my son told me, "Mom, it's time to." Oh, so you're still a little bit busy. Yeah. So this huh. day, I I I was working um sign seven a.m to okay. 4 30 since yes. remember since that, since since 4 uh, 30 p.m PM. okay that's that's cool so you slept you are relaxed yeah. what about tomorrow what's the plan you gotta work tomorrow yeah all day long or just just a uh, hard just half half day from uh, 7 a.m. Sa no, same sign, 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 
since uh, since, since seven a.m. to since seven a.m. to eleven. Oh really? A.m. Cool. Yeah, and then I think that I will take a rest or a nap. Yeah, a nap. Uh, I I a nap. will take a nap. Okay. In, a nap cool. in the afternoon and and the night maybe uh, I will see my friends to oh, take a that's dinner. Nice. To have dinner. To have dinner. And Sunday, I think that I am um, stay at home. I will stay home. I will stay home. And that's, that's cool. it. That's nice. That's nice. So you got everything like set. So Sunday is going to be like the day for the cleaning, putting everything in order. What time do you usually wake up on Sunday? I usually wake up on eight, eight a.m. At eight. Okay. And see. What a. C? <laughs> yes, I was. Uh, I I am wake wake up. I, so wake, I wake up, up at eight. Or maybe seven, sometimes seven a.m. without, oh, uh, yeah, without a uh, alarm, alarm. Without an alarm. Yeah. yeah, that's terrible. Yeah, the age like that. Yeah, yeah, that happens. That happens. I understand you. Don't worry. Don't worry. That happens to the best of us. <laughs> pasa lo mejor, so don't worry. Don't worry. My father yeah, told me that uh, he he don't he doesn't use alarm, but every day wake up at four a.m. Four a.m. Man, that's terrible. <laughs> and he's I I'm not sure, but I think that seven no seventeen. I guess 17 years old. 70 years old. Man. Yeah, 70 years old. Yeah, uh, you know, I used to sleep. I I was able to sleep until 10, 11 a.m. <laughs> and like cool. I used to. I used to be able to sleep up to 11. Now it's not possible for me. <laughs> It's going to be at okay. 7, 8 a.m. tops, I'm like, and once I open my eyes, I cannot stay in the bed. I yeah. need to get up and do something. Me Move too. to the sofa, but I need to get up. I cannot stay in the bed. Why? It hurts my back. I told you I'm old. <laughs> yeah, that happens. Yeah. Well, thank you, Roxana. Nice talking to you. Thank you. Okay, let's see. Maria. Hello, Maria. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. <laughs> How are you? I'm just fine. What about you? How are you doing? I'm just fine. Too. And tell me what you're doing today. i working hard. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Yes. You were working hard? Okay, tell me, what was your schedule today? Uh, my schedule is uh, done fine. Since? Since? Since, uh, uh, since uh, night, I am okay. at uh, 7 p.m. Okay, you can say it like this. From and to. Okay? Uh -huh. From 7 a.m. to... For 7 a.m. to no, for night from 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 night uh, to 7. From 9 to 7. Wow, that's weird. <laughs> yes, I work okay. in 10 hours, maybe. Okay, tell me what time is your break time? Uh, at 
1 p.m. At 1 p.m. How long is your break time? Uh, one hour, hour. One hour. Oh, one hour. One hour. So you can sleep. You can <laughs> Maybe. Or cooking my, my lunch. food. Lunch. lunch. Take a shower. <laughs> no comments. <laughs> or... Uh, or only I stay in the sofa. <laughs> okay. That's cool. No, that's cool. That's cool. I mean, whatever works for you, my dear. <laughs> yeah, whatever works for you, it's okay. It's okay. Yeah, I am. Hmm. You know, I wish I could be working, doing something, but oh, man. To be Come like on. this. Be like this for me. It's complex. Very mm. complex. <laughs> oh, thank you very much, Maria. Nice talking to you and welcome You're to welcome. the class. Thank you. Okay. Hey, Wilfredo, how are you? Hi, teacher. Fine. How was your day, my friend? It was very busy, teacher. Oh, really? Yeah. We are working in a new process. A new packaging process. Oh, really? And, and we have to change the the close the bag using a sealer machine. A what? A sealing sealing machine. Sealing. Yeah. Sealer. Okay. Yeah. Sealer machine. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. But we have to change many many motion. To the operators, and then it's, it is hard because we have to create the so metal the, chart. The, the steps. Sorry? The steps, the methodology. Yeah, yeah, step by step from the okay. beginning to the end. But it from is the, it, from the very beginning, from the very beginning. From the very. From the very beginning. Um, okay. Mm, then it is so hard because mm, we have to retraining to the people yeah. to uh, keep the mm, that goal efficiency. Yeah. Yeah. Mm, but this is this is mm, in my job that change. It is. How do you say teacher a la orden del día? Yesterday we saw many. Okay. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Interesting work. Come on. Uh, let's see. If I'm not mistaken, it's like this. No me equivoco, es así. Someone happened. Common happens. Yeah, the, the thing is this, that it's, I mean, it's a word that I know, but I have never like explained this word, you know? Okay. Then okay. teacher. Yes. Then we are happy because today is Friday. Tomorrow I am going to be at home. In the afternoon, I, I have to go to play soccer. Mm -hmm. In the um, 4 p.m., my second child has a match soccer, and I go and I will go to to see him to play. Tomorrow is going to be interesting, be relaxed because we can forget all the stress of the week. Yeah, that's good. I mean, to to relieve some stress, that's always good. I mean, to get rid of the stress, to get rid, get rid of stress is always a good activity, you know, because I mean, otherwise the stress is accumulating and it push a lot. Get rid means there's a citizen. Get rid. Get rid. Let's see, get rid. Man, you know, that's the problem, as I tell you. 
these are some some words that I don't that I know. What, that what, I what about you, teacher? You have to learn to 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 write with another hands. Well, uh, yeah, and it's a problem because I mean, uh, hmm. the sure. problem is that is that I will have to take a, 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 a therapy after this. Okay, teacher. Uh, Twenty years ago, more or less, I I have an accident playing soccer. I make a brela mano. How I do you say? My hand. I broke my hand. I broke my hand. I broke my hands, and I have to with uh, fibra de vidrio, molleso, ni felula. I have to. I have to get for <clears throat> forty-five <clears throat> days. Yeah, this and is I, this is fiber actually. It's a fibra. Really? Yep. It's lighter. It's lighter. Yeah. It's más delgado. Yeah, it is light. Yeah, but uncomfortable. Right now it itches. Okay, Wilfredo, <laughs> nice talking to you. Thank you and welcome to the class. Ambar, you, Ambar is looking at me like this. When's my turn, Miss Ambar? Hello, Ambar, how are you? Hello, teacher. I I'm fine. What about you? I'm fine. I'm fine. Tell me, how was your day, Amber? Well, it was a busy day. I was working and then I made shorts in my house and only okay. that. That's nice. That's nice. And what are the plans for the weekend? Well, tomorrow, uh, I will work since 7 a.m. to 11 a.m. And after that, I will take my pets to the vet because they have their vaccination. Oh, yes. they're gonna get the shots. Sorry? They're gonna get shots, but not tener uh, shots, uh, injecciones, vacunas, vaccines. Yes, yes, sí. Oh, yes. poor animals. What you got? Dogs, cats? I have a, a dog and cat. And one cat. Okay. One cat. That's nice. Yes. I actually, I have a dog, but I love cats. Really? Yeah. I mean, I used to have a cat, but it passes away. It passes away. But, uh, I actually like the cat more than the dog. And dogs I like, by, but real dogs, big dogs. And here in my house, they got a little thing like this. So that's not <laughs> a dog for me. I mean, that's a toy. Well, I'm very welcome and thank you. Thank Let you, teacher. Get... No, thanks to you guys. Before I continue, I need to get the attendance. So let's see, let's see. Hold on, guys. Ouch. Let's see. Uh, um, Ambarelli Alfaro Gomez. Present teacher. Thank you. Uh, Andrea Beatriz Rendero Subian. Edward Ademir Noyola Brito. Elvia Chanet Beltrán de Cabrera. Present teacher. Thank you. Fausto Antonio Landaverde López. Fernando Marvin González Martínez. Present. Thank you. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Present, teacher. Thank you. Jocelyn Alexandra Fuentes Molina. Here. Carla Marielos Guevara Callejas. Here. Leslie Fernández Ochoa. Linda Marlene Acosta Barrera. María Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Present, teacher. Marta Ana Belinda Morales del Portillo. Present teacher. Thank you. Marta Patricia Díaz González. Rita Beatriz Cabrero Desea. Present teacher. 
Roxana y Beth Asensio de Mejía. Present. Silvia Elizabeth Avendaño Pineda. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present teacher. Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Present teacher. Thank you. Shanira Elizabeth Asensio García. Present teacher. Carlos Antonio Murillo Hernández. Present teacher. And Sandra Beatriz Hernández Martínez. Okay, okay, let's see. Well, let's see who else is around. Who else is around? Hey, Fernando, how are you? What have you been up to, my friend? What have Tell you me. been up to? What have you been up to? Yeah. What have you been up to? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Hey, Today, I was working as always. As usual. As usual, yeah. But uh, we finished. Okay. It what was, are the plans for tomorrow? For tomorrow, uh, this weekend is my my home weekend, and I will do. Uh, I will cleaning my house. I will do the laundry. I will wash the car. I will do homework with my son, and at night. I will drink in some beers to, to close the week. Yeah, that's yeah. nice, that's nice. To yeah. take it once, once in a while, it's always nice. Yeah. So you're gonna yeah. get a couple of old, old cold ones. Sorry? A couple of cold ones. So tell me, do you like, uh, so that means that you got, you like uh, hard drinks. Yes. You like hard drinks. Listen up, guys. When we talk about beverages, cuando hablamos de bebidas, there are soft drinks and hard drinks. Soft drinks are like soda, like, uh, oh. like tea, like juice. Those are soft drinks. And hard drinks are like, uh, like uh, beer or alcohol. Right? So tell me, what's your favorite uh, beverage, Fernando? Uh, my favorite beverage is Supremo. Okay, that's cool. A uh, couple of Supremo. <laughs> and six. What, about, what about liquor? Um, uh, liquor, uh, I think. Mm, Vodka. Vodka. I, think. Oh, no. I cannot pass that. I don't pass. Caparro. It. I don't, want, no. No. I don't uh, pass it. And tequila, teacher. Uh, either. It hits me hard. A mí me da fuerte. Tequila for well. me. Hard, yeah. In my case, I like uh, scotch uh, whiskey. Um, rum and gin. Okay. Uh, gin. Do you know what, what I'm talking about? Gin. When I mm. say gin, I mean uh, Ginebra. Oh. I, I guess. love that. I love that. Uh, and, uh, and scotch. Uh, scotch is my favorite. In my case, I am a simple man. Uh, no, <laughs> me too. I mean, I like scotch, but you know, one or two or three. One or two. Three or two. shots, and that's it. I get sleepy. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, to relax, just to drinking relax. with drinking with uh, moderation. Yeah, moderately. It's always good. Yeah. And you know, after, the pro my problem is that I'm a long drinker. I drink in my house before going to sleep. Oh, yeah, in my case, too. I drink I my house. A, yeah, I get one shot or two shots, then I go to sleep, and I'm like relaxed. That's it for me. Uh, and in my case, it's similar. I stay up 
en la home um, rara vez ¿Cómo se dice rarely. Vez? rarely rarely I go to with my friends uh, to, yeah. to drink uh, yeah. almost almost uh, la mayoría de las veces almost time most of the time uh, most of most? the time yeah most, most of the time, the time I stay at home yeah, it's always better to be home nowadays nowadays it's better to be home so you are safe well you know estar seguro en casa yeah yeah in this time it's better yeah nowadays nowadays hoy en día nowadays nowadays yeah nowadays Okay, no means it's better. Then yeah. and, and Sunday I I relax at home. I will rest. Yeah. That's good. Yeah, I will okay. read uh, something and I will stay with my family. That's nice. Okay, hold on. I am texting uh 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 sorry. Let's see. Better safe than sorry. Oops, I'm sorry, I just sent it to somebody at the moment, so I can hold on, guys. Okay. Like this. Better safe than sorry. Better safe than sorry. Yeah. What does it mean? Mejor. Mejor seguro que que lamentarlo luego. Oh, oh, oh there is something, sorry, okay. I, I get it. Okay, that, that's a saying, es un dicho. Okay, better safe than sorry. Better safe than sorry. Okay, a new phrase. Thank you very much. Me. Thank you very much, Fernando. Nice talking to you. Hey, Carlos. <laughs> Hello, mister. How are you? Fine, teacher. Thank you. Good evening. Good evening. How was your day, my friend? Ah, uh, today is very. It's not. Uh, I I I have a very easy day of in my in my office uh, because I had a schedule in my schedule back, schedule schedule, schedule my vaccinate or vaccinate. I don't know, say vaccine. Vaccine. Okay. I, I scheduled my vaccine. And oh. but uh, for you got to, today your chat? No. Uh, uh, because I I go to the unit uh, health the unit. Yeah. Yes, but um, when I go when i arrive in, in that place and they say um sorry the schedule is at, at 2 p.m uh, until 2 p.m but my my schedule says uh 2 p.m my appointment my I, appointment. I appoint yes and um, i appointment at 2 p.m but it's uh they say don't don't give me the don't put my my vaccine vaccinate and I, I i have to go to the to monday another way <laughs> on monday again on monday yes i oh, have okay. to but you are not afraid of ne of needles no no teacher oh I lucky you you know <laughs> I I get scared of those things that you wouldn't imagine. Yo soy un miedoso de esas cosas. I mean, that for me to get a vaccine is like, oh man, terrible. I don't like them. I hate them. <laughs> no, yeah, for I me get, not it. I get nervous and you know I shake. I really? shake and I yeah. <laughs> yeah. In my case, I mean I'm a I'm a I'm a, uh, I'm a cry baby. I'm a cry baby when it comes to vaccines. Okay. <laughs> but but uh, let's see. Let's see. But I'll tell you a little secret, my friend.
and that's and that's weird. That's weird because I get afraid of one thing, but I'm not afraid of the other thing. So, you know, the mind is crazy. I, <laughs> ser I seriously think about who are the black sheep in your family. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, no. Actually, I think my little brother is. Jesus, more than you? I am the calmer. Really? Yeah, the four of us, I am the most centered person in my family. <laughs> it's progressive. Yeah, you should see my little brother. I'm the oldest. You should mm. see the youngest one. That's crazy. <laughs> okay, guys. Well, thank you very much, Carlo. Welcome, everybody. Welcome, Walter, Rita, Elvia, Silvia, uh, Fausto, Edward. Uh, Francisco. Now, I want you to notice something. I told you yesterday that today, since the very beginning of the class, we were going to start working with phrasal verbs. Now, let's see. Did you notice that we were using two or three words verbs? ¿Se dieron cuenta que estuvimos usando verbo phrasal verb? Not really. Well, Janira is looking forward to signing a contract tomorrow. I told her that phrase. You see? Looking forward to. That's a three word verb. Okay? Roxana, we were talking about waking up, get up, wake up, get up. Okay? Go to bed. Three. Take a nap when I was talking with uh, Maria and also with Roxana. Taking a nap. Take a nap. That's a verb. It's a verb. Okay? Those are phrasal verbs. You see? So we were using phrasal verbs. I don't know why you didn't notice. Come on. I told you yesterday. And you know, I tried to fulfill my promises. So I told you that we were going to work. And as you see, the idea was this. Actually, the idea, I didn't tell you right at the beginning to start looking for them. Because what I wanted you to notice is this. You are using them. And you are understanding them. Okay? Ya los están usando y ya los están entendiendo. And then, some of them are more difficult than others. Of course, but we are already using phrasal verbs, okay? In simple phrases, common happens phrases, yes, we are using them. And that's the way they are. They are, they are, I mean, they are common happens. They pass on, I mean, all the time. We use them all the time. So nothing to be worried about. Because I know that when I tell you, if I start, if I start the class, explaining you the grammar points about phrasal verbs, you will have gotten like, oh my gosh, this is difficult. But now you have seen that we use them, okay? And they are simple. Get sick. Like Walter was telling me this week that he got sick, okay? Walter me estaba diciendo ayer o ayer que he got sick. To get sick, two words. Sick is enfermo. Get sick, enfermarse. You see? And Maria told me that she has lunch. Almorzar. See, those are simple verbs. Okay? Very simple verbs. And we use them. So those are phrasal verbs. Nothing to be like, oh my gosh, they are complex. No, they are simple. We use them. You are you have been using them. Okay. So today we are going to be working with them. And let me start. Well, you know, we are always work with the manual from Insafor. And today we are going to work in the manual first with page number 35. Okay. And that's uh there's a conversation where there are some phrasal verbs used, but specifically for the company, okay? 
Bert used specifically for the company. But before this, I need to, uh, 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 let's see. Well, yeah, we are gonna go straight to the conversation. Let me get to it, guys. Okay, here we go. Okay, here we go to the conversation. And the conversation says, let me see, just give me a second because I always get you a picture of the conversation so you can have it there if somebody's got trouble getting the, the, the manual. That way, I am sure everybody's got it. And let's see, let's see, just hold on, guys. Oh, guys, I don't know what's wrong with me today. I'm low. Okay. The conversation goes like this. Tom, I need your help. Can you pass me that spanner, please? I need to tighten up this screw. Sure. Here you go. Thanks a lot. Look, did Kit clean up the room before he left? Yes, he did. I know he did because I asked him to switch off the, the power. Great. By the way, did you call up the electrician? The engine doesn't stop to turn off. And now we have a problem. Yeah. I think that if you don't oil it regularly, it will seize up, seize up eventually. That's correct. I repeat. Tom, I need your help. Can you pass me that spanner, please? I need to tighten up this screw. Sure, here you go. Thanks a lot. Look. Did Kit clean up the room before he left? Yes, he did. I know he did because I asked him to switch off the power. Great. By the way, did you call up the electrician? The engine doesn't stop to turn off. And now we have a problem. Yeah, I think that if you don't oil it regularly, it will size up eventually. That's correct. Okay, guys, let's see, let's see, let's see. Any question uh, related to the conversation? Tying up, teacher. Tied up. Tied up. Tied. Actually, it's tied up. Realmente el verbo is tied up. Eh, apretar, tocar. Okay. Thanks. The spanner is the the the, the uh, llave. We call yeah, it yeah. llave. Yeah. Spanner es una llave que utilizamos. To tie it up para apretar. O to tie to tie it up or to tie uh, 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 off. Okay, to tie off. Any other question about the vocabulary? Teacher. Yes. Uh, how pronounce tighten up or, or tie up? Tighten, 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 tighten up, tighten up, tighten up. Questions, questions? Any doubt? No? Okay. Then Size up, teacher. Me... Yes? Size up. Okay. That, uh, how can I explain this? If you notice, let's see if we can get the idea. Uh, if you notice, it's talking about the, the, the equipment. It's hablando del equipo. What happens when the equipment gets like, uh, like, uh, let's see, how can I explain it for you related to your area? Okay, 
in your company, they work with uh, with clothing and trails, right? Trabajan con trails. Okay, what happened? What happens if you don't clean up a machine, the internal part? I am going to have trouble with the machine. Okay, one of the troubles is that if the machine is working, it's going to get like size up. But because mm -hmm. there, there's a, 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 an, an enclosure of it, porque está atascada, right? Okay. That would be, atascada would be. Okay, thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Okay, let's see. Now we are going to work in the conversation. Let's see. Hold on, I just need to create, uh, to move somebody. Okay, perfect. Okay, guys, groups are created. Please jump in. You got four minutes to practice. Marta, you free already? Yes. Oh, okay. Yes, In this moment, yes. Who is start? Who is start, girl? I will start. Tom, okay. I need your help. Can you pass me that spanner, please? I need to tighten them, tighten up this screw. Sure, here you go. Thanks a lot. Look, did, did Kit clean up the room before he left? He left? Yes. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I continue. <laughs> yeah, up eventually. That's the correct. Eventually. Hi, Sylvia. Hello, good evening. Hi. Good evening. Eventually. 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 Okay. Yeah. Eventually. Okay. Tom, I need your help. Can you pass me this spanner, please? I need to tighten up the screw. Sure. Here you go. Thanks a lot. Look. Did Kit clean up the room before he left? Yes, he did. I know he did because I asked him to switch off the power. Great. By the way, did you call up the electrician? The engine doesn't, doesn't stop to turn off and now we have a problem. Yeah, I think that if you don't oil it regularly, it will size up Eventually, regularly, that, regularly, 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 Regula regularly. Okay, and Sylvia, screw, screw. Yeah, you gotta be careful with that word, Sylvia, because you perhaps you're going to hear it. You deal with uh, with foreigners on a regular basis. Okay, if I tell you, um, man, I'm, if you listen to somebody saying, I'm screw, it means that, ah, uh, okay? okay? And if some, if you hear one of them say, telling each other, hey, man, you screw it up, it's la regaste. Okay. Okay, see you, ladies. And this word is screw. Screw. 
es una tuerca. Screw. Ok, yeah, screw. Actually, but also, también es atornillar. Sure. Ok. 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 Here you go. Here, here you go. Here you go. Thanks a lot. Look, did the kid clean up the room before he left? Yes, he did. I know he did because I asked him to switch off the power. Great. I asked him to switch off the power. I'm sorry, Eva. Okay, Elvia, say asked, with me. Say with me. I asked. The, diga conmigo. The power. The power. Okay, don't look at the text. No mira el texto. Look at me. The power. <laughs> the power. Okay, the power. Power. Switch off the power. Switch up the power. Switch off the power. Switch up the power. I ask him. I asked him to switch off the power. I asked him uh, to switch... No, look at the text. No, mira el texto. <laughs> I asked him to switch off the power. I asked him to switch the power. I asked, power. Him, <laughs> I asked him to switch off the power. I asked him to switch off the power. Okay, continue. Great. By the way, did you call the electric? The engine doesn't start to off, and now we have a problem. Yeah, I think that if you don't oil it regularly, it will dry up eventually. Regularly. That's regularly. regularly. Eventually. 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 If regularly. Regularly, regularly. Regularly, regularly. 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 Okay. And you start. Tom, I need your help. Can you pass me that expander, please? I need to tighten up this screw. Sure. <clears throat> Head you go. Thanks a lot. Look, did Kit clean up the room before he left? Yes, he, I did. I know he did because I asked him to swing off the power, switch off the power. Great. By the way, did you call, call up the electrician? The engine doesn't stop to turn off, and now we have a problem. Yeah, I agree that if you don't, don't not only it So, Carlos, when you going back to where you are? Maybe another uh, weekend, teacher, because oh this my weekend, gosh. yes, because this weekend uh, my mother-in-law, yeah, uh, she she will I don't know she she going or uh, is a uh, is her birthday, teacher. Oh, this, this, okay. this weekend, yes. This weekend, this weekend is my mother-in-law's birthday. Okay. Oh, that means that you get along with your mother-in-law. Sorry, teacher. You get along well with your mother-in-law. Do you understand what I say? I'm asking you if you get along well. You get along well with your mother-in-law. Well, maybe <laughs> I I I understand if I if I 
have a good relationship with, with us, with, with, oh, with okay. her. Yeah, it helps. It helps to have a good relationship with the mother in law. Yes, teacher. My yes. mother, in, uh, sorry, my, my mother in law, I, I think she's more, more uh, interested in if I have, if I feel comfortable that my wife, teacher. Oh, yeah. That's normal. That's normal. I, I, totally agree with you, you know, okay. if you know how to treat them, they treat you better than your wife, that's a fact, I'm sorry Roxana, I'm so sorry, but that's true, yeah, whenever, whenever I want something special prepared for me, I don't ask my wife, I ask my mother-in-law, and I have it the same day, I, I think that's it's, it's like, um, um, ay, ¿cómo se dice? Como... it depends, because if you, ha, if you are a good man, <laughs> your mother-in-law will love you. But if you are the bad man, uh... I don't think that your mother-in-law will love you. <laughs> well, you know... No comment. <laughs> <laughs> let's continue. But, let's continue. You have, you have in, to love your, your mother in law. But yeah. if, if, if we are talking about wife, your wife are loving you all the time if you are a bad man or good man. Uh, <laughs> Now, for toxic men it's, it's easier it's easier with my mother-in-law it's easier with my mother-in-law for real for real for real okay guys uh, okay let's continue let's continue okay let's see francisco and marta please Francisco, you start. Okay, teacher. Tom, I need to help. Can you pass me that spawner, please? I need to tighten and add this screw. Sorry, teacher. One moment, please. No problem. Sure. Ready, Martha? Here you go. Yes, yes, yes. Thanks a lot. Look, you clean up the room before he left? Yes, he did. I know he did because asking him to, sh to switch off the power. Great. By the way, did you call up the electrician? The engine doesn't stop to turn off. And now we have a problem. Yeah, I think that if you don't oil it regularly, it will uh, sit up eventually. Eventually. That's correct. Eventually. Okay, eventually. Remember, eventually. 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 Thank you, okay, teacher. Okay, now let's see. Let's see. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. What am I doing? Okay, now let's see. Ambar, Ambar and Fausto. Who will start, okay, teacher? Ambar, you, Ambar, you will start. Okay, Tom, I need your help. Can you pass me that spanner, please? I need to tighten up this screw. Sure, here you go. Thanks a lot. Look, did Kit clean up the room before he left? Yes, he did. I know he did because I asked him to switch off the power. Great. By the way, did you call up the electrician? The engine doesn't stop turn off. The tool turn off. And now we have a problem. Yeah. I think that if you don't oil it regularly, 
uh, it will size up uh, eventually. That's correct. Fausto, regularly, regularly. Regularly. Perfect. Regularly. Thank you, my friend. Excellent. Teacher, Sorry, uh, I have a question. Uh, the pronunciation is say up, right? Or or not? You can say say up or you can say size up. But the problem if you say size up, algunas personas lo van a confundir con medir. Ah. Okay. Porque suena al igual que size, como de la talla de la ropa, okay? Entonces sería size, size up. Size up. Yeah, size up. Ah, okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Sylvia and Janira, please. Sylvia, you start. Tom, I need your help. Can you pass me that spanner, please? I need sure. to tighten up this screw. Sorry. Sure. Here you go. Thanks a lot. Look. Did clean did he clean up the room before he left? Yes, he did. I know he did because I asked him to switch switch off the power. Great. By the way, did you call up the electrician? The engine doesn't doesn't stop to turn off, and now we have a problem. Yeah, I think that is that okay. if you don't oil it regularly. It will size up eventually. That's correct. Okay, perfect. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Now, uh, let's see. Uh, uh, hold on. Shanira, uh, let's see. Regularly, Shanira, regularly. 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 Like it's that. hard to me. <laughs> I need to practice. It's Regularly. hard for me. It's hard for me. It's hard for me. Regularly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it's like the song. It's hard for me. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Now, Edward and Elvia. I'm sorry, Edward. I know you're tired and you're got the chat today. Edward. I think Edward is, Ed, Ed, Edward is not here, teacher. Yeah. Oh, come on. Oh, no. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Sorry. Ah, okay. I am here. I am okay. here. Okay. Thank, okay, thanks, Edward, Carlos. you start. <laughs> okay. Tom, I need you your was help. You was a lip. <laughs> Tom, yeah. I need your help. Can you pass me that spanner, please? I need to tighten up this, this screw. Sure, here you go. Thanks a lot. Look, did Kit clean up the room before he left? Yes, he did. I don't he did because I asked him to switch off the power. Great, by the way, did you call up the electric can? The, the engine doesn't stop to turn off. And now we have a problem. Yeah, I think that if you don't oil it regularly, it will size up eventually. That's correct. Oh. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see. Uh, 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 uh. Electrician, electrician. Electrician, okay. electrician, yeah. okay. Electrician. Now, okay. let's see, let's Thanks, see. Thanks, teacher. No, to you guys. Maria and Walter. Okay, Tom, okay. I need your help. Can you pass me that spanner, please? I need to tighten up this screw. Sure, here you go. Thanks a lot. Look, did Keith clean up the room before he left? Yes, he did. 
I know he did because I skated him to switch off the power. Great. By the way, did you call up the electrician? The engine doesn't, doesn't stop to turn off. And now we have a problem. Yeah, I did that. If you don't only in regular, regularly, it regularly. Will say, regularly, it will say us eventually. That's correct. Okay, something that I forgot telling uh, Elvia and the same happened here. Ask, remember, ask. Ed después de acá suena como te. Remember, please, ask. Thank you very much, guys. Okay. Let's see, Fernando and Rita. <clears throat> What's that, Rita? You, Fernando. Okay, Tom, I need your help. Can you pass me that spanner, please? I need to tighten up this screw. Sure, here you go. Thanks a lot. Look, did Kit clean up the room before he left? Yes, he did. I know he did because I asked him to switch off the power. Great. By the way, did you call up the electrician? The engine doesn't stop to turn off, and now we have a problem. Yeah, I think that if you don't oil it regularly, it will size up eventually. That's correct. Okay, read that. Regularly. 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 Eventually. Eventually. Perfect. Thank you. Now, Carlos and Wilfredo. Carlos, you'll start. Okay, teacher. Tom, I need your help. Can you pass me the, that spanner, please? I need to tighten up this screw. Sure. You go. Thanks a lot. Look, did Kit clean up the room before he left? Yes, he did. I know. He did because I asked him to switch off the power. Great. By the way, did you call up the electricians? The engine, the engine doesn't stop turn off. And now we have a problem. Yeah, I think that if you don't you don't oil it regular regularly, it will say that eventually. Okay. Carlos, That's for en engine. Engine. En engine. Okay. The engine. Okay, engine. guys. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Mm. I'm thinking, I'm deciding because I have something here, but I don't know. Okay. Let's see, we're going to do it first. First, I'll show you the presentation that I prepared for you. And then we're going to see what the material got, okay? Related to the phrasal verbs, okay? And before I forget, Sylvia, remind me after the class, please. Because I forgot. Okay, teacher. Mm -hmm. Please, please, don't forget. Okay, let's see. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. What am I? Oh, here. Okay, guys, I prepare a short presentation for you related to phrasal verbs. I'm going to share it with you. And let's see, let's see. We got it right here. Okay, let's see, phrasal verbs. Now, what are phrasal verbs? Phrasal verbs are phrases that indicate actions. They are generally used in spoken English and in formal text, look, in spoken English and informal text. Examples of such verbs include turn off, come across, run into, okay? These are examples. Now remember, spoken English and informal text. Because, and I will clarify something here. Le voy a explicar algo. 
the situation is this that way if you are reading like a formal text then you get into the technical language something technical and in technical language there are specific verbs to for a specific action in this case there are verbs specific for action specific okay let's continue Okay, let's see what I can do. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay. Oh my God, I'm sorry guys. I did something wrong here. So sorry, so sorry, so sorry. Oh man, I'm sorry that I was trying to get something, but I didn't. Oh, here we go. Okay. Here. Phrasal verbs consist of a verb and a preposition or an adverb. Look. Un verbo y una preposición. Get a. We use that, no? Get up. Go through. Oh, I am going through a lot of problems right now, you know, because of my arm. Write down. Okay. You go to a meeting and you need to write down everything. What is the meaning of write down? It could be like take notes, okay? Take after. This is a very good one. Take after. Like, you know, uh, uh, let's see, take after. Oh, my mother loves English. And she was always trying us, trying to get her kids to practice English. And I think, I am the only one who takes after her. You get the idea? My mother loves English. A mi madre le encanta inglés. And she was always trying for all her kids to get to understand English and to practice English. But I think I am the only one, pero creo que yo soy el único, who takes after her. Porque los demás, mm -mm. I mean, my sister is math teacher. Mi hermana eh, profesora de matemática. The other one is into law. And the other is cuestión de leyes. And my youngest brother, nothing. So I am the only one who takes after her. You get the idea? Entendemos qué quiere decir? It's like, Wilfredo likes playing soccer. Okay? And he's got two sons. Just uh, an example, with your brother. Imagine that he has two sisters. Right. But just one of them loves playing soccer, and the other one loves playing basketball. So your brother says, "I don't know why, but just this guy who plays soccer takes after me." You see? You get the idea? Yeah. Okay. Perfect. Continue. Okay, sometimes phrasal verbs consist of three elements. Look, we have the verb, the preposition or an alber, or an and a second position or a second alber. Look forward to, I was using this one today, to look forward to, okay? Okay, look forward to, that's to, uh, mm, 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 mm. let's see, we got, look forward to, put up with, sit in for, okay. Look forward to, I was telling, uh, let's see who was, Janira, that she's looking forward to sign up tomorrow so she gets more money. Está como, 
I mean, I don't know how to explain this in Spanish, guys. No sé cómo explicarlo en español. It makes completely sense for me. Just give me a second. It's like the idea when you are like anticipating or waiting for something to happen, but you want it to happen. And you are like anxious for it to happen. Cuando usted está ansioso y esperando que algo pase. Y quiere que pase ya. Okay? So you look forward to it. Like Wilfredo, he loves, uh, Wilfredo and Carlos, they love soccer. A ellos les encanta el soccer, football. Okay? So they are looking forward for the World Cup. Para el Mundial. Okay? They are looking forward for the World Cup. You get the idea? Entendem? It's like Fausto, you know, Fausto got a day off tomorrow. Fausto tiene día libre mañana. An example, Fausto, I don't know, I don't remember. And Fausto is looking forward to the date he's got with his girlfriend. See? Ah, he está looking forward a la cita que tiene mañana con la novia. It's like, yeah, tomorrow, finally, a Saturday. You get the idea? Como ansioso, okay. teacher. Yeah, pero es esperar ansioso por algo. It's a, it's a little bit uh, complex, no? And let's see, let's see, let's see. It's the right. other one, yes, el otro era, yes, Wilfredo? We are, we are looking forward to the weekend. Oh, yeah. To be I relaxed. Yeah. <laughs> but meanwhile, Wilfredo, mientras tanto, you have to put up with me. You have to put up with me. Mientras tanto, you have to put up with me. Do you remember? That was the second verb. Este era el segundo verb. Put up. Yeah. Yeah, to put up with me. Like, you know, uh, after 20 years of marriage, Carlos knows that uh, his wife has had to put up with a lot of things. Right? And that's normal. I mean, that's life. It's like in my case, after 20 years of being married, my wife has, has had to put up with a lot of things. Es como aguantar, soportar y tolerar. But the three things together, okay? <laughs> you get the idea? Yeah. yeah, it's like Roxana's husband, you know, poor man. He has to put up with her attitude. An example, Roxana, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Roxana is like, yeah, teacher, if I see you. Okay, let's continue. And let's see, the other one was to, okay, sitting for, okay. This got two different explanations, to sit in for. Okay, let's see, you know, my, uh, my co-worker cannot teach a class tomorrow, so I have to sit in for him. Okay, cubrir. Okay. To sit in for, cubrir alguien. Okay. Let's see. Let's continue, guys, because we got more. Not much. Okay, when al to the verb, the, the preposition of al verb may change completely the meaning of the verb. Here are some examples. Look for, it means search or seek. Okay, he is looking for his keys. Look, look for. Now, that's one of the meaning. He is looking for his keys. Buscar. Look up to. That's have a great deal of respect for a person. His father is his mother. He is the person he looks up to. That's this verb, these three words means all this. Have a great deal of respect for a person. Okay. Look forward to. Await eagerly, 
anticipate with pleasure. She's looking forward to visit Paris. That's nice, no? Now, look up. Here, look. Here we have look up to. Then we have look up. To try to find a piece of information by looking in a book or on a computer. She didn't understand the word, so she looked it up in her dictionary. Okay. Questions with these three? Yeah, I have a question. Yeah, tell me. Can I use, uh, I'm looking for, uh, I, I'm looking for some information in internet? Okay, now, yes. The explanation is this. If there's a list or a manual or a specific book, you look up mm. information. If there's not, if you're going to look like in everywhere, look for. Ah, okay. Just for okay. a book. O sea, cuando usted dice look, uh, look up, quiere decir investigar o buscar, se refiere a que hay una lista, hay un orden, hay un manual. Pero si usted se mete al internet, usted va a buscar en medio de millones y millones de, uh -huh. de, 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 de databases. ¿Ok? So, okay. no hay un orden. Like, I mean, it's like me when I am looking for. Uh, when you are when uh, taking the attendance, you are look up. Yes, I look up for your personal information. Like, you know, I need to call Silvia because Silvia is not attending to classes. Mm -hmm. So I look up her information in my attendance list. Mm -hmm. Because in my attendance list, I have her name, her phone number, her, I don't remember it, her email, but I got her company's name. Okay. So I got all her information in there. I look up. Right? Okay. You look up information, you look up for a phone number in your cell phone because you got them on a list, right? Yes. So you look up. Fausto works in a warehouse, right, Fausto? Yes, teacher. So Fausto, he looks up the the looks up the, the existences of something on the inventory he does. He gets everything in order, okay? He takes okay. account of everything that goes up or in. Uh, let's see, Sylvia works with, uh, sometimes uh, they got a uh, guest. So she has to look up sometimes like the account. Okay. You see? Yeah. Any other questions, guys? Preguntas? Teacher, is yeah. look up is for a specific and look for is for a generally? Yep. Yeah. Okay. But remember, look up is when you are going to look in a, en un listado, en una fuente que tiene todo ordenado. En una fuente yeah, because you can, you can look up in some web page is in internet yeah. but it's in one page yeah but when you get into the google in the browser i mean it's look for yeah, yeah because a lot of information yeah you start surfing the net yeah ver okay. el verbo ahí realmente es surf the net mm -hmm. thanks teacher okay surf surf well some people say surf Third. Let's continue. Okay, the meaning. Sometimes it is difficult to understand the meaning of phrasal verb. Before looking them up, look, before looking them up, in a dictionary, it will be helpful 
to use the context to understand them. I mean, because if you look in the dictionary, remember, you will find one word, perhaps two, but sometimes they are made up of three, unless you are looking in big dictionary. Now, idiomatic meaning. Phrasal verbs can also have a figurative or idiomatic meaning, which makes them difficult to understand. Can you put me up for tonight? Oh, in this case, the phrasal verb, put up here does not mean to build, as in putting a fence up. It has, however, an idiomatic figurative meaning. It means to let someone stay in your house, okay? Put, put up with me for tonight. That's put me up for tonight, okay? Now, put up a fence is to build. So it depends on the context with some of them. And remember, some of them are separable and some are not. Okay, sometimes the preposition or the adverb is placed either after the verb or after the object. Maybe made up a really entertaining story. Mary made the story up. Okay, in this case, made up can be separated. And made up in this case means uh, inventor. If the object is a pronoun, however, the preposition of the adverb has to be placed after the pronoun, okay? She made it up. Put it down. Take it off. Ah, okay. Si el objeto que vamos a poner es un sujeto, es un pronombre, la preposición va después. Made up. Put down. Take off. Some phrasal verbs are always inseparable. I came across some old photos in a drawer. I came across. It would be like, me encontré. Okay. As I tell you, don't worry. Phrasal verbs, I mean, there are plenty of them. If you start looking for list of phrasal verbs, you will get hundreds of them. As, they, as you read in the presentation, remember, do your best to try to get the meaning through context. Whenever possible, get the meaning through context. Siempre que sea posible, trate de captar la idea por el contexto. Hey guys, did I get the attendance? ¿O me asistencia la segunda vez? No, right. Sorry, I'll do it. Amarelli Alfaro. Present teacher. Andrea Beatriz Renderos. Edward Ademir Noyola Brito. Present teacher. Thank you. Elvia Chanet Beltrán de Cabrera. Present teacher. Pausa Antonio Landaverde López. Present teacher. Fernando Marvin González Martínez. Present. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Present teacher. Jocelyn Alexandra Fuentes Molina. Carla Marielos Guevara Callejas. Present teacher. Leslie Fernández Ochoa. Linda Marlene Acosta Barrera. María Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Present teacher. A Marta Ana Belinda Morales de Portillo. Present teacher. Marta Patricia Díaz González. Rita Beatriz Cabrero de Sea. Present teacher. Roxana Iveta Sánchez de Mejía. Present. Silvia Elizabeth Avendaño Pineda. Present. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present. Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Present teacher. Yanira Elizabeth Asensio García. Present teacher. Carlos Antonio Murillo Hernández. Present teacher. Sandra Beatriz Hernández Martínez. Okay, guys, thank you very much. 
Okay, 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 okay. Just let me check on something before I continue. So let me revise a little bit. Tiene que ver con la programación. Just a second, guys. Minutes, a minute, a minute. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Today is the 11th. All right. Okay. Okay, perfect. Now, guys, let's see. How are we doing with phrasal verbs? Any question right here up to now? I'm going to present you for a moment. No question? Okay. I'm texting one of you. Okay, now let's check what the manual says. We are going to the manual. We are going to work in the manual in page number 36, okay? Page number 36. Look it up, please. And it goes like this. How to use two word phrasal verb? Remember, in this case, we are working with two word phrasal verb. Some verbs are two word, two part verb. They consist on a verb and a particle or a small word like a preposition. The particle often gives a new meaning to the verb. For example, take after. He takes after his father. He looks like his father or he behaves like his father. Pull off. Mary called off the meeting. Mary canceled the meeting. Now we got here verbs and we have to match the verbs with its preposition. Let's see, we got tighten up. Let's see, which is next? Uh, mm, mm. Sylvia, help me. Next one. Switch. Mm, the second one. Switch off. Switch, oops, switch off. Thank you. Uh, Maria, clean. Up. Clean up. Clean up. Yeah, Maria, you need to clean up your room. <laughs> okay. No. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Rita, number four. Size, size up. Size up. Size number up. five. Number five. Let's see, number five uh, goes to Elvia. Turn off. Turn off. Perfect. And of course, the last one would be collapse. Okay. Now we have an exercise here. Okay. Let me get rid of this. Let me borrow it. Okay. Now. We have an exercise here. Can you pass me that spanner? I need to tighten up this board. This workshop is very dirty, let's. Okay, what you're gonna do, you are going to get those birds in order to complete this, okay? Now, let's see, this workshop is very dirty. Let's, Roxana, read the second sentence, complete please. This workshop is very dirty. Let's uh, clean up this place. Okay. Or you can say, let's clean this place up. Remember that this one can be divided. Thank you very much, Roxana. Let's see, number three goes to, oh my gosh, I'm sorry. Number three, Fausto. Number three, Remember, uh, 
to switch up the power before you remove the machine. Perfect. Excellent, Fausto. Now, number four. Let's see, I hope the computer Sir, I have a question. Yes. I have a question. Yes. And the number three, uh, we can use remember to turn the power off or remember to turn the power before remove the machine off. No. Turn off. Yes. When, I, I don't know. Eh, lo que pasa es que si me dice remove the machine, lo que pasa es que si me puso el remove off, eso es otro verbo. Eso es que se llevaron la máquina. Ah, pero en qué caso, no. así como el clean up, okay. lo puedo usar clean. hacia el final. No, 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 no. Lo que pasa es que el verbo está afectando esto. Les mencionaba la oración, el objeto de la oración. I'm sorry that I explained this in Spanish. Perdonen que voy a explicar esto en español. El objeto de la oración es quien recibe la acción. La acción es limpiar. ¿Qué es lo que se limpia, Rosana? La plaza. Este lugar, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Este lugar. Okay. Correcto. Entonces, puedo colocar el objeto en medio del uh -huh. two verbs. Ok. Clean this place up. Ah, remember to switch the power off. ¿Por qué? ¿Por qué es lo que iba a apagar? The power. Uh -huh. ¿Ya? Ok. Lo que pasa es que aquí solamente tiene un objeto la oración. Pero aquí hay otro objeto que es la máquina. Pero en uh -huh. este caso, el objeto que está afectando es the power. ¿Sí? Ok. No es que vaya hasta el final, sino que es el objeto de la oración. Ok. ¿Sí? Ok, thank you. You're welcome. Number four, Walter. Uh, I hope the computer won't uh, switch off again. Okay, I hope the computer won't switch off again. Perfect. Number five. Martha. Um, hi. Yep. Okay. If you do not look at this type of machine, regularly, they will think them? They will? Think them? Tired enough? Mm. No. Ah, sorry. Size? Size up? Yeah, that's it. Amber, please read number six. Okay, the printer just stopped working. We need to call up a technician. Perfect, Amber. Thank you very much. It was just perfect. Okay, guys. Now, your turn, role play. One of you is going to be a supervisor. The student B is the maintenance personnel. We have, you both have to check that a machine has received the necessary maintenance. Ask and answer questions using phrasal verbs. Okay. That's your activity for right now. You will have seven minutes to create that conversation. Now, I know that some of you are not like into, in your company, you don't work with machines. Yo sé que algunos de ustedes en su compañía no trabajan con machines. So, if you both are in a different context, what the only thing I need you is to create a conversation where you apply at least two, two word verbs. Or sure. two phrasal verbs, okay? Yes? I have a question. Uh, how, how to know what is the most important phrasal verb to, to know? Because I have a dictionary about only for NTCs, yes, very big. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. Okay, look. Well, with the phrasal verbs happens the same as with the rest of the vocabulary. 
you will be getting them just through practice, through reading, through listening, okay? That's the only way you are going to be getting the most common one, okay? Not the most important, just the most common one. The situation is this. There are some that are specific to some specific areas, like technical, like tighten up, size up, okay? Because, I mean, uh, size up, in this case, fue muy específico, porque también cuando algo se, se puede ser que se obstruya, si es por un líquido, es clogged, y no aplica size up. Muchas veces, dependiendo del contexto, y del contexto depende mucho de con quienes nos relacionamos. Okay? So, in your case, that you are trying, I mean, most of you are trying to get the English for everyday speaking, right? Ustedes están tratando de obtener el inglés para everyday speaking. Some of you perhaps for technical speaking, but that's not quite common. So, what I will recommend you is start reading in English, start listening to, to paying attention to what you listen to. Okay? Prestando un poquito más de atención a lo que escuchamos. Like if you listen to music, you will listen up to a lot of them. Van a escuchar muchísimo. And you will be able to identify some. And the, the, the advice that I gave you in the PPT is the same. El consejo que les di en la presentación es el mismo. Try to get the meaning through context. That's the best way to find out which ones are the most common. And as I tell you, I mean, you already know some and you didn't know that you knew them. Algunos de ustedes no sabían que ya sabían algunos. Right? So, I mean, don't try to look for them, okay? No les recomiendo que los busquen. You will get confused. And it could be a frustrating exercise. Y para algunos okay. podrá ser un poquito frustrante. Unless, a menos que, you are the type of person that learns more just through reading. A menos que usted, usted sea el tipo de persona que aprende y capta más directamente a leer. Because, I mean, I give you this advice because most of the people learn through practice. Eh, somos adultos. Entonces, para nosotros es más fácil aprender lo, que se nos quede algo practicando. Because if we start looking for the information as adults, we tend to... ¿Cómo les explico esto? Perdón, voy a explicar algo en español. Como adultos, nosotros cuando analizamos... Eh, parte del conocimiento lo que hacemos es quererlo racionalizar en base al conocimiento previo que ya tenemos entonces nos va a confundir ¿por qué? porque usted dice no, pero es que esto significa esto y entonces ¿cómo se relaciona ya con esta otra palabra? nos vamos a confundir más ¿ya? y eso tiene que ver con parte del desarrollo cognitivo de las personas o sea, because del, we, los... we translate yeah tiene que ver con el parte del desarrollo cognitivo del aprendizaje, porque cuando nosotros llegamos ya a la edad adulta, este, nosotros trabajamos en un, pensamos en un nivel más, eh, más racional, ¿ya? No simplemente aceptamos lo que nos dicen, sino que cuestionamos. Y cuestionamos en base a nuestro conocimiento previo. Y eso nos vuelve más lentos a la hora de aprender. Por eso es que les digo algunas cosas. No se preocupe buscarlo. It will just make you slower. Okay? Be like the little kids. Just accept. Mire, esto es como la religión. Usted acepte lo que se le digo. Okay? Just take it like that. Be, it's an act of faith. Hágame un acto de fe. Okay? It's, it's going to be easier for you. I mean, if you start looking for the info, it's cool. If you are like in, in my area, and bueno, si usted está en mi area, because I need to know it in order to explain it. But you don't need to know it like that. I mean, just try to get them, and you will be getting them. And let's see, uh, Sylvia, please, can you open up your microphone? Yes. Okay. Sylvia, can you tell me about your experience? 
And do you think you are getting more vocabulary just through listening to, to English speaking persons? Yes, that's a good way to, to understand and to learn more vocabulary uh, by listening. And also it helped me so much when I hear a new word, I take I take note of that and then I'm like, I memorize that work and I try to use it in sentences. Okay, thank you very much, Silvia. Okay, okay you're guys. Welcome. Just just to explain you is uh, as you <laughs> some of you already know, como algunos de ustedes ya saben, Silvia has the opportunity to to deal with English speaking people on a daily basis. Ella tiene la oportunidad de hablar con personas que hablan inglés a diario. So She's got the opportunity to get them, just to listen. You don't have that, that opportunity. Okay, you do, actually you do. When you sit in front of the TV, okay? Stop watching TV in Spanish. Come on, guys. Watch it in English. Read in English. You are learning the language. Do it. It's going to be good for you. And if you got little kids, it's going to be good for your kids. I mean, you need to take that step, but that's only possible if you push yourself. And the only way to push yourself is to get into it. I mean, it's like in Sylvia's case, it doesn't work if she's just listening. She needs to try to interact with the people. That's the way, that's the only way it will work. And in your case, guys, if, and I'm sorry to be repeating myself, if you start looking for list and list and list and and getting just trying to memorize the dictionary and trying to, to memorize the, the whole vocabulary, it's going to make you slower. In this case, and uh, at the stage you are, it's mostly about understanding. If you understand it, believe me, you will be able to apply it. Créanme. En el nivel que están ustedes, se trata de entender. Si usted lo entendió, lo va a aplicar. Usted fue capaz de entender. Si usted escuchó una frase, la entendió una vez, no se le quedó. Es muy probable que no se le quede. Si escuchó una segunda, una tercera vez y la entendió esas tres veces, believe me, you, when you realize, you will find out that you are already using it. Cuando se den cuenta, ya la van a estar usando. And that's a normal process. That's the way our brain works. Esa es la manera como funciona nuestro cerebro. Es un proceso normal. Okay? And that's called total physical approach. Y eso se le llama total physical approach. It's actually a, a methodology. Es una metodología. When you are like bombarded by, by the language to you watch it, when you read, you listen to it, you listen, you read, you interact, and when you let's realize it, you are applying it, okay? That happens, that works. Another thing to work for some people, para muy pocas personas, pero si funciona, is the suggestopedia. I mean, you relax and you just listen. A muy pocas personas le funciona, pero algunos sí le funciona sobre la suggestopedia. Have you seen that people used to like listen recordings in English and like go to sleep listening? I mean, it works for some very specific learners. Some tipo de, de, de estudiantes muy específicos. But the total physical, it works for real. In this case here, what we do, what we are using in this course is a task-based approach. Entonces trabajamos con un task-based approach. We start the class, comenzamos la clase, we we are review a warm-up, un warm-up, uh, calentamiento, and then we have the the task preparation, donde yo les comienzo a dar una idea sobre qué va a tratar el tema. Parte del task preparation es cuando vemos la conversación, todavía no les he explicado el tema. Solo aparece en negrita ahí, ¿verdad? Las partes importantes. Okay. Luego viene el, la explanation, la explicación de la actividad. 
And always I ask you to produce. Y luego siempre les pido que ustedes produzcan algo. Que me escriban, que me creen una conversación. O directamente interactúan conmigo. Ok. And then at the end of the class we do this. We go over the vocabulary and I ask little questions to some of you. Si yo les hago algunas pequeñas preguntas a algunos de ustedes. Eso se llama post-task. Ok. Porque nuestro método que estamos utilizando acá es un task-based approach. Task. ¿Cómo digo task? And you get me. I mean, I'm sorry, guys. I'm just thinking, uh, I'm thinking in English. Perdón, no es que sí la tengo que buscar porque estoy pensando solo en inglés. Task. Tarea. Nuestro enfoque es, es un enfoque de tarea. En ejercicio. Si se dan cuenta siempre en todas las clases, seguimos casi en la misma estructura. Tanto así que si usted sabe que si se conectó tipo 9 de la noche, estamos terminando la conversación. Estamos por terminar la conversación o haciéndola y vamos a iniciar ya con la parte de la explicación gramatical porque luego viene el ejercicio, ¿verdad? And that's my lesson plan. That's the way we work. But it works. And for real, believe me. And I'm sorry that I made this pause. Y disculpen que he hecho esta pausa, because I know that some of you are like, yeah, yeah, stop it. But I want you to realize of this, uh, because what Yanira asked me, and that's where we come from, por lo debido a lo que me preguntó Yanira, que estamos acá, your fault, Yanira, culpa suya, is that don't get too much into list. No se enfoquen en lista. Okay? I mean, You are under a lot of pressure. Ustedes están bajo mucha presión. You got your job, you got your families, you got uh, uh, what? Uh, traffic. And then you get home and you need to connect to a class and it's, it's a compromise you acquire. And you know that you have to be here because if you fail the course, they're going to ask you for money and that hurts. So, I mean, you are under a lot of pressure. And if you start pushing yourself more, looking for information, trying to memorize information, believe me, it's going to become frustrating. So this is an intensive course. It's a course intensive. Okay? Regular English courses are like just four hours a week. Cursos regulares son de cuatro horas a la semana. Okay. You are not enrolled in regular English courses. You are enrolled in intensive. Ustedes no están matriculados en cursos regulares. Están en un curso intensivo. For real. I mean, you are getting, if you connect to the class at eight and you stay until the end of the class, you are getting in contact with English for two hours on a daily basis. Besides your daily life, Because believe it or not, you get in contact with English. I mean, nowadays that's, that happens all the time. Porque pasan dos horas obligadas de la clase. Bueno, voluntaria, obligada, you know. Pero el resto del día también están entrando. El resto del día también están entrando en contacto. I mean, you go to a... I'm sure that if you go to a, a, to a store, Estoy seguro que si van a una tienda, you will see, van a ver que dice en la puerta este, salida, exit, right? Es una puerta, door, y muchas palabras, su mente ya las está relacionando en inglés. That happens. Besides, we are, English is push into us. I mean, we chat every day. Tenemos conversaciones, right? Chat, to chat. Okay. Trabajamos con email. ¿Verdad? You check your email every day. Nadie dice, voy a revisar mi correo electrónico. Do you? Casi no, ¿verdad? En su mente, su mente está diciendo email. I mean, we are in contact with English. Every day. Y nos metemos en una página y a veces aparece ahí scroll down, scroll up. 
Si ustedes no tienen idea qué es Scrum, pero comienzan a hacerlo así, ¿verdad? Lo comienzan a hacer así. And that's true. ¿Y saben qué es Scrum? Actually, to scroll, scroll es la ruedita que tenemos aquí en el mouse. Este se llama scroll. No es deslizar, that's slide. And if English is pushing to a soft, I go back. And I'm sorry that I took too much time into this. Y perdonen que me tomo mucho tiempo en esto, pero it's for your own benefit. Don't focus on this. Eh, aquello que nos ponían a nosotros que nos daban un listado de verbos, creo que a todos nos dieron un listado de verbos en la escuela, ¿verdad? Que era, traía como 100 verbos. Y que al inicio nos decían los profesores, nos vamos a aprender tantos cada día y al final del año nadie los hacía. Right? That happens. I mean, that's. I don't mean that it's worthless. No quiere decir que no tenga sentido, but it's, it's an extra work that you don't need. Ok? Es un trabajo extra que no necesita. Believe me. With the class, little practice, getting your own time and tu propio tiempo, five minutes if you want. Do the exercises in the platform. And that's enough. Ok? Distinto es cuando el curso termine. Y tengamos una, tengamos una pausa. Ok? Then ask me and I will help you. Entonces me preguntan y con gusto les voy a dar extra. But right now, come on. No, don't get into those lists because then it, you get, you'll get more confused or frustrated because a veces nos frustramos, queremos aprender y lo leo, lo leo y no se me queda. Come on, man. Yes, when I look for this book, believe me, I'm afraid because it's a big dictionary only for NTC. Yeah, I know, I know. So don't worry about that. Mire, si está en papel es porque no necesita estar aquí. As simple as that. Okay. So if you don't need it, si lo tiene en estado ahí en un papel, it doesn't need to be here. Use that space for something else. Okay. Hey guys, I am so sorry for this detour I took. Perdóneme por haberme desviado un poco acá. My most sincere apologies. My most sincere disculpas. But I consider it necessary to, to clarify that point. Consideré necesario el aclarar eso. Thank you very much. Uh, I just took the attendance. Ya yeah, acabo de tomar la asistencia, so I won't take it no more. Thank you very much. Enjoy your weekend. And please, be on Monday. No se me desanimen. Be on Monday. See you okay. guys. Take care. Thank you, teacher. Bye, teacher. Bye, teacher. Thank you, teacher. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Okay. Good night. Silvia, no se le olvide. Pues ahí tú. Me iba a tomar la asistencia. No, 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 no. no. Como la acabo de tomar. Ah, ok. Good night. Good night. Teacher, a second. No. Only for review my pronunciation. It just right. passed. <laughs> ya pasó. Regularly. 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 Take it. Okay. Piénsalo así, mire. Regularly. It's okay. It's regular. Regularly. Regular. 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 Regularly. 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 Perfect. Perfect. <laughs> Perfect. Thank you, teacher. <laughs> You're welcome. Bye. Have a Bye. good night. Have a good weekend. Thank you. Enjoy. Hi, teacher. Hello, Roxana. How are you? So tell me, how are we doing? Como am? Preocupada. <laughs> Preoccupied. Why? Uh, actually, I don't remember when I was studying English the last time, maybe um, six years, five six years, years ago. ago. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So this model is, for me, 
Uh, actually, I think that is was very, it is very hard for the work and, and time and the sit pad. Okay, due to your job. Now, ¿qué es lo que más tiempo difícil? Vocabulario. Vocabulary. Okay. You say, uh, you, you, told, you told me. Uh, you told some uh, very important this night because you are, you are talking about um, phrasal verbs. I yes. knew the phrasal verbs maybe in 10 or more years ago. And I'm afraid because I know that uh, phrasal verbs are a lot. Yeah, they are. Maybe it's, it's, it's more common use phrasal verbs than verbs normal. Regular verbs. Regular verbs. Uh -huh. Yeah, actually phrasal verbs, they are used in a lot of different situations. Yeah. So uh, I think that this was very complicated. I know, I know. But uh, I mean, don't worry. As I tell you, you are going to be getting them through context, through, through experience, OK? No se preocupe, cuando comenzamos la conversación, usted los estaba usando y ni cuenta se daba. And believe me, people is going to be using them in front of you and you're going to be listening to them and you're going to be like catching up everything. And that's normal. Como por ejemplo, acabo de usar catch up. Sí, es como no le... dar la idea. Y su mente no le dijo, no le dijo este, hey, catch up es un phrasal verb que quiere decir este. No, su mente en el momento entendió la idea, ¿no? Yeah, but it's more common. So I think that uh, some phrasal verbs are more common. Yeah, so some are, are some are a little bit more complex. Es cierto, you know, son más complejos como uh, take after, right? Take after is not quite common. Or Here. use a rule that you you use um, separate. I really uh, I don't. <laughs> I think that I don't understand when I take, um, I, I remember that in, sometimes I read, read? I read. Read um, about Edgar Allan Poe. Yeah. I love the um, histories, her his, uh, his histories. Stories, stories. Stories uh, was, uh, are, are uh, very um, como, como que le captan, yeah, lo yeah, atrapan. Yeah. 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 Uh, you get I immersed in them. Yeah. Uh, he used uh, a lot of phrasal verbs, but it's not common. No, no, but you are you are getting into one of the big figures of literature. Yeah. On, his English was very formal and specific. Muy específico. To the area he was focused on. Al área en la que estaba enfocado. I mean, that's a whole different enchilada, my friend. I think that is the... Uh, is it responsible? Is it response? Responsible? Responsible about my freaking up? No, about my, your what? Uh, mi temor. My fear. My fear. I don't know, my relationship with the with the phrasal verbs or yeah, uh, intermediate model is uh -huh. complicated yes but don't worry don't worry don't worry i mean mire este, 
te lo dije el otro día, te lo repito. Son 21 años en esto. Este, and believe me. No, no mucho. Eh, no no yeah, sé. But, toma, toma el libro. Pero en el caso de, los, eh, de las eh, historias de Edgar Allan Poe en inglés, eran las que en su momento cuando yo estudiaba inglés utilizábamos, nos hacían evaluaciones acerca de eso, entonces me llamó mucho la atención, pero quizás eh, en, esa, en esa parte fue que me frustré porque su, su, el lenguaje de él es, es muy, muy rico, yeah. muy amplio, pero es complicado. Entonces, yeah, y como te dije, como te dije antes, era una área muy específica, era un área muy, muy específica. It's like, a, it's the same as, uh, I would recommend you, if you like Edgar Allan Poe, uh, to read Agatha Christie. Agatha Christie? Yeah, in English. Good. Good, good. And her stories are a little bit lighter. Son similares, pero más suavecita, más liviana than, than Poe, okay? But believe me, she's, a good writer. I mean, I got, I got in love with the germ, yo me enamoré del género, by reading hers. Ella es la madre del género policial. ¿Del género? I love it. Policial. Policial. Novela policial. And, but her stories, I love them because they are short. Mm -hmm. okay? okay. And I mean, that's something that you can analyze. Get some. Uh, hmm. Can What I format do you read it? Google? Or to send... En este momento lo imprimía, o sea, le estoy hablando de que se fue hace como 11 oh. años o más. Ok. Text me tomorrow afternoon. I'll help you with that. Ok. okay. But tomorrow afternoon, don't forget. Ok. Eh... Yesterday I sent the ever for exercise for tax uh, 14. Did you see my WhatsApp? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I reported already. Del robotito que aparecía. Sí, todavía aparece. Todavía. Ok, sí. voy a hablar. Pero veas que no y aún aparecía. Yo lo reporté anoche. Anoche mismo, tan pronto terminamos la clase, usted me lo envió y yo lo reporté en ese momento. Este, sí, el problema ahí es que eh, no importa la respuesta que ponga, todas van a aparecer como malas porque uh -huh. no, no le asignaron respuesta. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Pero sí, eso, eso me lo arreglan. Probablemente las compañeras, el problema es este, que solamente son dos personas las encargadas de toda la plataforma, todos los cursos que tenemos. Entonces, todo llega solo a esas dos personas. Uh -huh. okay. Tan pronto lo tengan, yo les aviso al grupo. Okay. okay. Thank you very much, Roxana. Thank It you. It was a pleasure. Have a good night. Have a good night. Ciao. Bye.